On average, the cost of a new car in the United States is $28,400, according to the Federal Trade Commission, while the price of buying used averaged over $15,000, which places that purchase out of reach for most people unless they can get financing for that purchase. Car loans are a common financial transaction as a result of the large cost involved with purchasing a vehicle, and spreading the cost out over time is the only way to make it affordable for most individual budgets. With the majority of consumers purchasing cars by way of financing, car loans for people with bad credit have become common as well. For people struggling with bad credit, the best sources for car loans tend to be car dealerships, though many consumer protection agencies will steer people away from financing with a car dealership more and more experts in the field of auto financing are starting to rethink their opinions on the subject. While many consumer advocates advise getting financing before setting foot in an auto showroom, consumers who have bad credit are more likely to seek their car loans through the dealership since their financing departments deal with a variety of banks and have access to car loan programs managed directly by the automakers. Finding car loans for people with bad credit through a bank, credit union, or finance company means shopping around. Beginning with one's own bank or credit union has become a traditional option for seeking financing whatever the level of his or her credit health may be, but carrying the weight of a bad credit rating may make it difficult to secure a car loan at a favorable interest rate. The amount of assets the borrower has with his or her bank will affect any financing decision by the bank's loan office, as will the habits regarding that customer's history of credit usage with that institution. But banks and credit unions may have some limitations as to who they will lend money, especially where a bad credit rating is involved, and it's an institution-by-institution -institution standard as to how money is lent. For auto financing companies, there may be more general standards for arranging car loans for people with bad credit. In these cases, this applies to nationwide chains, which have to maintain more flexible lending structure to accommodate a more diverse population of borrowers. The larger the company, the more leeway they have to offer financing to a broader range of customers, with better predictors of who may or may not fail to live up to the conditions of the loan. Specializing in car loans for people with bad credit gives such companies better tools to analyze the prospective borrower's finances, giving them a better chance of preventing an instance of default. Dealerships traditionally offered financing on their inventory, and in simpler times, it was only a matter of securing car loans through a bank with whom the car dealership regularly did business. Modern times brings a more complicated, yet refined system of financing, and the dealership may be the conduit between a car buyer and several different agencies, including the financial divisions of various auto manufacturers. Their access gives them greater freedom to finance car loans for people with bad credit, as they have a large inventory of car loan options to work with. For some manufacturer financing programs, people with bad credit are highly sought after for the simple reason that they may be a good source for repeat business if they have a positive experience on the first go around. Although the risk is greater in taking on people with bad credit, the odds favor the lender and a customer making good on their car loans and are prepared with the collection resources and insurance if a borrower fails to meet his or her obligations. Since a car dealership wants to move inventory off its lot, it will make the car loans as painless as possible so more people are able to drive off in a piece of that inventory whether they have bad credit or not. With this in mind, it's important to understand that the primary concern of a dealership's finance officer is to see that a car is sold, which may or may not have the customer's best interest as a top priority. It's also important that a car buyer seeking financing through the dealership know that he or she is meeting the final salesperson in a four-person team that does nothing but sell cars when sitting down to negotiate the final conditions of the sale. The vast majority of dealerships are simply in the business of moving cars and will make the best deal for the customer that they can on the financing side. The car itself may be a different matter, and while the vehicle in question might be as reliable as any vehicle ever made, it may not be the car with the best value or one in line with the customer's own desires. When negotiating with the dealership's finance officer, it's important that customers do so from a position of reason and not one of emotion to come away with a car and a car loan that's not only reasonable, but a genuine deal. Car loans for people with bad credit are becoming a standard product with many lenders across the country, as a slow economy tends to breed more people who will have difficulties in credit. For the most part, lenders want to see more people living with good credit and will work with customers who have bad credit to improve their reputations. 
there is a profit to be had in making more people credit worthy and making money is the primary motivator of any business. If the new source of profit is in turning bad credit into good credit through wisely planned financing, then this is the path every reputable lender will take. Federal Auto Loan. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, all good.